up and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be giving a review for the film Top Gun Maverick. Now this is a sequel to the 1986 film Top Gun which starred Tom Cruise and of course Tom Cruise returns to this film as well too. Now this particular film is set 36 years after the events of the original film and Maverick must return to United States Navy Strike Fighter Tactics Instructor Program where he must confront like his past, like elements from his past, and at the same time train like a new group of young fighters. Now, this film has been getting like some excellent reviews. I've been hearing about it, and I must admit it was very entertaining, and I even enjoyed it too as well. <laughs> now, it's directed by uh, Joseph Kosinski, I think that's how you pronounce it. And you have like characters like uh, well, actors and actresses like uh, Miles Taylor, Jennifer Conley, uh, Ed Harris, even Val Kimmer returns like as Iceman too as well and I thought that was a kind of an awesome scene too like you know I don't want to spoil the film but the uh, overall it was a pretty uh, entertaining film it's basically like uh, showing like the uh, you can see like flashbacks to like, the previous like film like actually like footage from like the previous Top Gun from, from 1986 but at the same time you can tell that uh, Maverick is still struggling with his past like with the idea that his friend had died and so on and in this film you also have his son who's in the film played by uh, uh, Roosters, played by uh, Miles Terror and like I said he's like the son of Maverick's friend Nick Goose you know from like, the first film you also have uh, Jennifer Connelly who plays uh, Penny and she's apparently like a new love interest of uh, Maverick like uh, Tom Cruise like character you also have like other like characters like I want to touch on like I like the names of some like his uh, pilots have like a uh, Cyclone, Hangman and, uh, and all of them like that because Hangman I think was the one that really stood out played by uh, Glenn Power but in that as he trains him to uh, take on this, like, this mission that they're going to be sending him on like this uh, strike mission that they got to send him on he get he gets like in conflicts with like the various characters and so on, especially like a rooster because he's like the son of his friend that had died, so you can kind of see what's going on with that. But overall, it was a, a pretty entertaining film and it was like awesome. I think it's like some uh, interesting moments like between like a uh, it's like a uh, Jennifer Connelly like her character with Penny. Those moments where they were kind of interesting because you could tell she has like another love interest but apparently he's like left and she has like a daughter with this particular person but you never get to see who it is but at the same time she develops like an interest like a love interest with like Maverick and at the same time there are like other people and stuff I want to touch on throughout the film but I leave it at that but there's also like an awesome sequence before uh, what well, stands out with like Val Kimmer's character of like a uh, Iceman like there's a scene with him and uh, like uh, Tom Cruise like Maverick I thought that was kind of like, tight the way they did that being that they have to deal with like uh, Val Kimmer's like sickness being that he has like the throat cancer where he had something like that so I thought that was an awesome moment the way they filmed that particular scene but overall it was kind of like a steady film like the flight sequences and all that when they're training are pretty cool but it was definitely kind of awesome when it once it got to like, the uh, kind of the end of the film because it's like a lot of action when they actually must uh, commit the strike that they're supposed to be doing on like these enemies when they're supposed to go strike this base that particular scene was kind of awesome there's like a strong like a long lengthy like actual like air like air battle like with the plane the jets and stuff like fighting the air shooting each other flying all the chase sequence so I must admit that was pretty cool like some of those moments but overall it was a pretty entertaining film and it was kind of nice seeing Tom Cruise return to like this role too kind of like one of his most popular roles too so in the end of uh, Top Gun Maverick I'm gonna be giving this like a B minus. Like I said, it was awesome. I really did enjoy, you know, but I do feel like it had some moments in it where it kind of dragged and there were certain kind of things about it that was kind of off. And the idea of what they had to do seems like it was like something just kind of off about that too. And you don't really get to see like the enemies. Yeah, I like how they kept them like cover up and stuff. So I thought that was kind of interesting and cool too. That spoiler territory. But anyway, I'm giving this a B minus and this is my review for Top Gun Maverick. Please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well.